So the Shure Lenshopper microphone has gained a lot of popularity because it's used by the famous vlogger Casey Neistat. But a lot of people don't know that there's actually two different versions, and so we're going to cover those in this video to see which one you might want to use for your videos. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys, Sean here with Think Media TV, helping you go further, faster in media. And we're here at NAB at the Shure booth, and we're checking out the Lens Hopper microphone. Now, of course, this microphone is super popular because you know one of the most famous vloggers, Casey Neistat, uses this particular model right here, the VP83, on his current vlogging camera, the GH5, which he just announced. And so, a lot of people though don't know that there's actually two different versions that you can see here, and there's some slight differences between them. And so the first one is the VP83. This microphone comes in at $179 USD, and it's a really solid mic. One reason why uh, Casey has said that he loves it is really just because of the simplicity and the durability. You basically got your microphone. It works with one AA battery that gives you 130 hours of record time, which is pretty incredible. You have a zero dB, or you can adjust the sensitivity to minus 10 or plus 20, which is really nice. And then basically your on and off switch. And that's about it. It sounds phenomenal, it's a super solid mic, and it's nice, portable, and small. Now, there is another version, it's called the VP83F, and it's right next to it here. This version adds quite a bit more features, but the first thing to note is actually they're the same microphone, really as far as the audio quality goes. You're getting the, the same mic inside of there, but what the VP83F adds is it adds actually a micro SD card slot where that can take a card up to 32 gigabytes, so you can actually capture your audio separate as well as even simultaneously into your camera on that other microphone. The other thing is if you care about recording it at that higher quality, you know, if you plug it into your camera, it's just gonna be the audio file that your camera captures. But if you capture it to that SD card, you can do a WAV file at 2448, right? Really high quality WAV file that's gonna be captured separately to that SD card. You also um, have a lot more of decibel increments. So you can actually go minus, I believe, 36 all the way up to plus 24 dB in one decibel increment. So you can really adjust your perfect settings with the um, this other plus version. And then you also get a nice digital readout on the back that can show you if you're clipping or not. You just get a lot more features. But one of the biggest standout things about the 83F version that I like is a headphone jack. And so a lot of DSLRs don't have a headphone jack. And so what's nice is you can plug it straight into your camera, but then you can also monitor the audio that you're getting off the shotgun microphone to know if it's too noisy, to know if there's background noise or anything like that. So that built-in headphone jack is really cool. Saying that, the price for the VP83F is $269 uh, compared to $179 for the other version. Okay, so here is a quick test of the VP83, the basic version, right? This is what it sounds like. I'm about two feet away from the microphone. The microphone's right on top of the camera, and we're here in the booth. It's pretty noisy. We're here inside of NAB, but now you're hearing the VP83, but now let's compare it to the Rode VideoMic Pro. Okay, and now you're hearing the Rode VideoMic Pro, just as a point of comparison. Now this is on the side of our camera. I'm still about two feet away from it, and we're in a you know noisy booth. And so this isn't really like a full-on in-depth comparison, but just to give you uh, an idea of what the VideoMic Pro sounds like versus the Shure mic. So, like Casey, he likes the simplicity. You can go with that 179 version and get killer audio for your videos, or maybe you want the other features. Definitely the, the simpler version makes more sense for vlogs. It's not like you're gonna have headphones monitoring your audio, but if you are the shooter, you're behind the camera, maybe you do want that headphone jack, monitor your audio, maybe you do want those higher quality audio files, so you could get that with the VP83F. And so we'll list out the complete specs of both versions in the YouTube description, so definitely check those out. Question of the day, which version stands out to you the most? The simple version, just plug it in and go? Or do the bonus features, like a headphone jack, seem like something that would make sense for the content you're creating? Let me know in the comments section below. 
So thanks so much for checking out this video. If you appreciated it, can you hit the like button and click here on the screen to subscribe to the channel for more coverage of NAB and more videos just like this. And if you wanna see the complete playlist of all of our coverage, you can just click the playlist here or we'll link it up in the description below. Until next time, Think Media TV is helping you go further, faster in media. Keep crushing it and we will talk soon.